Well, Gavi is an organization. It's the Vaccine Alliance. It is basically the spirit tip of Bill Gates' empire. Bill Gates created it. Um, its board and funders include all the major vaccine companies, um, the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, and, and then the WHO, and Tony Fauci is also in there. But it is, the, it's kind of the, you know, the spirit tip of evil when it comes to the vaccine empire. And Gabby is the place where ID2020 originated, which is Bill Gates' concept of giving everybody on the earth a vaccine passport and ultimately chipping people you know, with, um, with a chip that would tell your medical records. But also now it's clear because they now made this week MasterCard and the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation um, announced and WHO and Gabby announced that they are issuing a card now for all Africans. And that will have their, uh, be a MasterCard that they can use to buy things, but it will also have their vaccine records and medical records embedded in it. And ultimately, it's very clear that what they want to do is make sure that you cannot spend money unless you're up to date on your vaccines. And that's all Gabby. So, you know, one of the things that happened this week is that, uh, that Donald Trump announced that he was withdrawing U.S. aid from the WHO, which is about $400 million a year. But what they didn't say is that the White House and, you know, and I believe this was Fauci's idea, although I don't know, um, in January began funneling $1.6 billion. So four times what we took out of WHO we're now giving to Gabby. And that's like just giving money directly to Bill Gates and to the four vaccine companies. So it's a big disappointment that the White House is doing that, is involved in that. And I'm hoping that the Trump administration um, will uh, rethink that commitment. Um, can you just go back to the MasterCard thing? I don't know if I heard that right. Uh, did you say Africans with the MasterCard? Yeah, they're doing it now. They've already, it's, uh, I forget the name of it. And you know, That's outrageous. I, we could look it up on my telephone if if we weren't using the phone for this. But anyway, it's a chip or a credit card system which will include all your vaccination records and be you know your mechanism for purchasing stuff. And what they really want to do, Polly, is they want to get rid of the cash economy and they want to and build. You know, I'm not. This isn't a conspiracy theory. This is what. Bill Gates says, he says, we need to get rid of cash um, because it makes it much easier to manage populations if you have digital currencies. And that will be the ultimate end of our freedoms because if they, and of course the banks want digital currencies because they can make friction, you know, collect friction costs on every transaction. Nowadays, a lot of transactions around the globe are cash transactions, and there's no way to tax them. So you go to buy a, a piece of gum in the in the store, or a pack of cigarettes for a year, and you pay cash. And they can't, you know, they can't. The banks and even the governments have a hard time extracting money from that transaction. And if they have a digital currency, they're gonna, they're, you literally will not be able to make any transaction without paying a tax and a fee on it. To the bankers, and then it will give them the power to totally control your life. Because if you disobey orders, if you know, I gave this example recently of the surfers who went to the beach in Malibu, and they did the same thing this weekend. They were, you know, they found surfers on the beach. They sent the local police down, and they gave them thousand dollar tickets for being in the ocean. And which is where they ought to be if they want to avoid COVID. They want to get the sun and the vitamin D. They ought to be down there. But anyway, you know, the government decided we're not going to allow people there. So they gave them $1,000 tickets. Well, what if we lived in a world where there were biometric facial recognition stations everywhere where, where Bill Gates is following what you do on your, on your Apple Watch and on your car GPS, on your phone GPS? 
and they're looking at everything. What he says is his company is going to be able to look at every square inch of the Earth, the satellites that they launch. So what if they already know that you've been, they don't have to send police down to the beach. They know that you are in the water. And now they don't have to give you a ticket. They can just extract the fine from your, um, from, from your payroll account in digital currency. It gives them total control of you. And, you know, right now we're watching Facebook and all these other companies punish us if we don't, you know, if we say the wrong thing. What if they can take your money away? What if they can shut you down completely if you don't obey? That's what digital currency will let them do. And they're, of course, they're going to use the pretense that paper currency is carrying the COVID virus. We have to get rid of it as a you know, biosecurity concern. And it's all part of this effort to, to drive biosecurity into the leading factor in all foreign and domestic policy. And, and at, that biosecurity excuse gives them a chance to, to impose conditions on human beings that no government, no tyranny, not the worst tyranny in history, not Mao Zedong, not Paul Pot, not Joseph Stalin, not Adolf Hitler, and not, not have the power that these people now have to tell you, you know, to tell everybody in our country, you have to stay in your house, you have to wear a mask, you can't go to the beach. You can't hike in the woods. You can't get close to your girlfriend. You know, um, you can't hold somebody's hand. You can't send your children to the school. We're gonna treat little chick kids like they're, you know, they're biohazards, and we're gonna teach them that they're like their fellow students are biohazards. And you know, we have a government telling us to do all these things and you know i don't object to the government telling me to do it if they tell me what the rationale is 